What is up, gamers and gearheads? Brutality here to bring you episode 103 of the Coalition Report, where I give you a recap of all the Gears of War news that has happened over this past week. Now let's gnash some news, baby. First on the docket, late last week, Fallout announced that he will be leaving his current position at the Coalition Studio as a community engagement representative due to his mother being ill. I just want to wish him and his family the very best. Additional information has been added to the beta recap on the Gears of War site. The Coalition Studio has released a short summary of improvements submitted by community feedback that we'll be seeing in the August 25th release of the Ultimate Edition, or if you're over in Europe, sorry to say it will be August 28th. Now those feedback improvements include various weapon fixes and bugs found while playing the beta. And the biggest fix that has the community up in arms and has been a freaking continuous argument over the past nine years is removing the active from the long shot. No matter what fixes are released, I'm sure the coalition will continue to filter and administer feedback to the game. These are not set in stone, guys. Everybody just calm your, calm your jets. Have Baird fix them. Gears of War hits the road and it will be at San Diego Comic Con this year. There are multiple Xbox panels, including Halo and Tomb Raider, alongside Gears of War. The panel for the Gears of War Ultimate Edition will be discussing the art of improving on an Xbox classic. If you are planning on being at the Comic Con, and that particular panel will be on Thursday, July 9th. During SDCC, you can also win one of 20 collectible Xbox. Box consoles. Here you see the Gears of War console. Pretty simple but cool nonetheless. There are also consoles up for grabs such as Mad Max, Madden, of course Halo, and Tomb Raider. And you know, there are more. But there are both chances to win at Comic-Con and at home, so be sure to check the link in the description for more information if you're interested, along with all the other news that you're hearing today. A new IGN Podcast Unlock sits down with three generations of Xbox bosses where they discuss old stories and favorite moments. One of those moments being how Gears of War changed the Xbox 360. Because of Gears, the powers that be decided to go with a 512 RAM instead of 256 in the Xbox 360. Now, there's a ROM joke in there somewhere. I'm searching, I can't really, we're just, yep, we're gonna move on. An interview with the creative director of the Coalition on Xbox Achievements asked the usual questions, but one of the interesting ones that I have seen several people ponder about popped up in this interview. Why isn't all three Gears of War games rather than just one included on this Ultimate Edition? Chuck, the creative director, answered, that they wanted to make sure that this one was as high quality as possible. If they were to do all of them, it would take a lot of time and effort. They wanted to make sure that the game was done correctly and would be something the fans would love instead of just throwing something out there for the heck of it. Last week, we talked about pre-orders for the Ultimate Edition and the characters you would receive with your pre-order. We have another to report thanks to a viewer EB Games will be handing out the Savage Cantus and Savage Grenadier Elite for your pre-order. Still no word yet from Walmart or Best Buy on which characters you will receive, if any, on their pre-orders. Let's jump into a little competitive Gears of War for a moment. Game Battles prepares for the Gears Ultimate Edition by releasing a Gears of War 1 ladder on the site. What? Yes, it's true. In preparation, they have also released a Gears Ultimate 4v, 3v, 2v, and 1v ladder. So when the game officially hits, you guys can enjoy a little game battles action if you are into that. Also, the first LAN tournament has been announced September 12th. Gears of War returns to King of the Couch. A Gears of War 4v4 and 2v2 tournament will be held on September 12th in New York. The exact venue it will be at is yet to be announced. All right guys, so I plan on doing a once a month little giveaway from the heart to say thank you for being a viewer here at the Coalition Report. If you've been here since the beginning, God bless your little heart. I know some of you have because you comment every week and I love that. Thank you guys so much. Um, and to say thank you, I want to do little prizes until I can secure big prizes. Uh, these are just gonna be kind of small ones that I'm gonna be go going to do once a month. And the first one is going to be a download of a custom Gears of War text message sound to show your Gears fandoms when you get text messages and you say, hey, yo, I know Marcus Phoenix, this is this is for real. Uh, anyway, I didn't really find a lot of cool text message sounds, so I decided to make my own and now you guys can have it too. 
It is in a Dropbox link in the description below. If you guys want to download that, you are more than welcome. And that, my good gears, is all the news I have for you from this week. Do you want your gameplay featured here and all your cool links and such? Be sure to get with me on Twitter and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions or comments or cookies, just leave them in the comments below. Until the cog turns again, we'll have some more news for you next time. Have a great week.